What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, D. Aaron Brown. And before this video start, be sure to like this video, subscribe to my brand new channel, which is this one, and comment and share. And let's jump straight into it. Yo, this is crazy. Something we never thought we would see. Two, we'll actually, let's start with this. Two things we thought we'll never see. Kenya in a sub 10, 100 meter. Kenya's dominance from 800 meters up to 10,000 meters, the marathon. Well, just distance running, period. We never thought we would see a Kenyan sprinter come to the forefront and be one of the top sprinters in the world. It's just something I heard of. And not only is this Kenyan athlete one of the top sprinters in the world, he ran 986. And that's like 0.14. 16 almost off their national record because before he ran their national record was 10 flat and it's crazy to see a 10 flat national record because in the united states you get high school students that run 10 flat so for a country with just running dominance like kenya to never at least have one runner to run at least that it's crazy but uh this is like game changing I saw this runner in Tokyo, and I think it might have been the first round or the second round of the 100 meters. And I was like, he's just running way too close to Andre DeGrasse and Fred Curley. I said, there's something there. And Tokyo might not be his time for him to just have his breakout race, but I can feel it coming. And lo and behold, did he have a breakout race? So on this day, not only did he run 986 that was the final in the first round the first prelim he went out there ran 996 which was really a huge 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 dent in the old national kenyan record so him for him to just completely break it and go 996 was unheard of so we knew something bigger was coming because once you run fast, people always think, can you go faster? Will you go faster? And did he prove can and will he go faster? He came back for the final and ran a blistering 986. It's just crazy to think about a Ken athlete with the distance running dominance that they have held for the last, well, since forever, that they, they have a runner out there running 98 and 100. 986 you can compete with any high level 100 meter runner in the world and kenya now has one of those it's just crazy to see his abilities and his potential and for him to go from a sub i'm not gonna even say subpar olympic games because he ran pretty decent at the olympics especially uh in relations to his prs and stuff like that but now this is just this is just crazy and this is the type of stuff we love to see like we like me personally i like watching track and i don't like to have those races where you just know who's gonna win and who's gonna run what time we live for the surprises in this sport and surprises like this are good surprises in my opinion shout out to ken for man finally get getting that that sprinter that can put ken on the map because everyone knows like in track the entertaining races is that 100 meter. I'm gonna say the 1500 meter too. That's personally one of my favorite races. But that 100 meter being the fastest man in the world just holds a completely different weight. And they are, they have one. And really, if he would have ran that 986 at the Olympics, we would have got third place. So yeah, man, let's this is crazy. Let's see where he go from here. See his progress, and let's just hope he can continue to get faster. Continue to shock the world and put on for his country. I'm out.